get ready with me to go out. Hind and Hala are about to come over, well, about to in like an hour. We're gonna go to a pop-up event for Zen Abu Dhabi, which is gonna be tagged in the caption below. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Three Kicks opening in City Walk. It's kind of crazy because before Hind got her license, we always used to think that we wouldn't know what to do with our weekend because of our restriction of being able to go to places. But now that she actually got her license, we realize it's not even to do with like her license or having a car. It's literally to do with the fact that we don't know what to do with our weekends. It's not that there's nothing to do, it's just that I'm pretty sure at this point we've completed all of Dubai Like, I remember this one day and it was like two weeks ago, it wasn't even that long ago But we had nothing to do and we were trying to find like desserts near us So we were on like Jamira Road and we just kept driving Like we couldn't find anything, we couldn't think of anything to do And we just stayed on Jamira Road for like a good hour-ish trying to figure out what to do I finished every activity in dubai i'm pretty sure like i've done the wild paint house thing which is the one where you paint the little bear i've gone to the ceramic cafe where you paint the mugs or cups or whatever i've done extract i've gone to global village MOTV. like there's nothing left for me <laughs> anyway side note my makeup looks so good <laughs> i feel like lately i've been messing up my eyeliner so much and i don't know why like it probably looks fine on the camera, but this entire, it's a lot like wider than I used to do it. It used to be super narrow. Like I just wiped it a little bit and this is how I used to do it without any mistakes. Also these get readies with me made me realize that I say literally like and I forgot the other word, but I always say the same word over and over again and it's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> the amount of times in the last 10 minutes I wiped and redid my eyeliner. I've talked about this on a get ready with me before, but I genuinely don't think I'll ever stop wearing false lashes specifically because of the fact that lash curlers and mascara don't do anything for me like that made no difference In one of my university lectures this week my professor was giving an example and he was like, oh, let's say a TikToker about something and tell me why my entire class looked at me at the same time. It was the most humiliating moment ever. <laughs> Anyways, this video has gone on for way too long, so bye guys. You guys, I can seriously cry. My mom is so sweet. <laughs> so I wake up this morning to like do my makeup and I open my vanity drawer and then like right when I open it, I see this. She left me a little note and got me something for Valentine's Day. She got me a little necklace it's so pretty it's with little hearts linked together and it's from like one of my favorite jewelry brands gorjana thank you so much mama i love you so so much that made my whole entire morning um and i'm actually gonna put it on because it is the perfect day to wear a heart necklace okay there's the necklace on it's so dainty and cute. Anyways, guys, let's get ready for school. Today, I get to wear like a cute heart sweater and I'm so excited because I got it from TikTok shop and it's so cute. I'm gonna put some of this on so I could be a little bit tanner today. I am really white. I'm wearing heart pajamas for the Valentine's Day get ready with me. Got these from Amazon and I'm not sure how I feel about this part. It's a little bit big, but they're really comfy. You know what's so adorable about my mom is last night I was like scrapbooking for Wes- Well, not scrapbooking. I was like doing a card for Wesley, like a homemade one. And um, so I had all my scrapbooking stuff out. Like as I was putting it away, she was like looking at my papers and then she grabbed one of the papers out of my like notebook. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, what do you need that for? And she's like, oh, just to write dad a card. Turns out that she took it for this reason. That's so cute. I feel like my mom knows me so well, you guys. Like she got me like a card and got me like a- piece of jewelry she just knows that i love when people like do certain things like it's the little things that matter you know what i mean i feel like my mom knows that like she's the kind of person that's always like spoiled me my whole entire life for my birthday she like puts presents out on the table and like balloons she put like donuts out like, that was just like something i always looked forward to for like my birthdays growing up and so my mom definitely made me that way like i I definitely do like acts of service like that. I love surprising people. I love giving like gifts to people. Like for Wesley, I just love like doing little homemade gifts for him. Even for like my friends or family, anyone in general, just doing gifts is so much fun. Putting it all together and doing all that, like putting the time into it, is, I just love it. And then I'm also a physical touch because I just love like holding hands or hugging or like anything, especially with like Wesley, obviously, and quality time. So you know what? Honestly, I might just be all the love languages. But yeah, definitely put in the comments what kind of love language you are because I know a lot of people are all different, obviously. Like, I know people that, like, hate being touched. Like, they literally, they don't care about physical touch at all. This is my favorite from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the 
powder what is it even called i don't even know what this is called airbrush flawless finish and it just like sets all your greasy areas down now i'm going in with some highlighter okay now i'm going in with my mom's brow gel because mine broke and i need to get a new one okay favorite part is mascara now i'm gonna like curl my hair off camera real fast this is the hair i haven't brushed it out yet um i'm gonna let it sit a little bit Okay, guys, this is the look. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. If you don't have a lover today, just know that Jesus loves you more than anyone else in this whole entire world. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready with me to go to the shops. I'm going to the shops to get myself a pair of shoes oh, because my old ones are just ruined and I want to start the new school year with new shoes. Old pair of shoes for school were New Balance 550s and I still really like them, so I might just get them again just in... A different color so i might just get them in a different color or i might get a different shoe i don't know we're gonna see in the store because i couldn't really find anything online i'm gonna try to do a lot of organizing today in terms of like my room and this wardrobe that we have between all of me and my sisters i'm gonna try like organize it because it is hideous so i might also buy some like organizers at the shops too help me do that i feel like this shopping trip is going to be dangerously bad for my bank account because i'm in one of those moods where like i feel like i'm going to get everything that i need today with like no stopping when i say everything that i need i probably don't need it it's like everything that i want to believe that i need so mm. mascara on purely just because i had a break from mascara and i'd only been using my lash serum and then the other day i put mascara on and i was like what the hell my lashes are so long and i've been Oh, I can't I can't do this eye having one blind eye. This is really tricky Anyway, I've just been addicted to wearing mascara again. So let's put it on I can't tell if I was just filming or not. Anyway, if I wasn't I said I was gonna buy the new elf brow lift again today because My one has gone white and all dried out. So I'm using the lash therapy brow gel now. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Oh to everyone asking for a lash tutorial, I posted one yesterday and a brow tutorial, so if you want to go check that out, I think it's my recent video, the one before this one. I might drive to the shops, but it's going to be busy and I need to park and I'm <laughs> not doing that. I have not been able to drive in so long since we don't have the car that I drive because it's getting fixed from when Bonnie got in that crash. So I don't have a car to drive, but... Isabel, my other sister, is going to Japan for a month, so I get to use her car while she's gone. I'm gonna try cram in as many hours as I can while she's gone. I've really learned about my lashes recently is that I have naturally curled lashes. Like, I don't really curl them. I curl them for like five seconds and then they stay like this for the whole day. Like most days, I don't even curl them. So I've recently learned that. Of course, my dad happens to be mowing the lawns <laughs> right now. Okay, well, anyway, I'm all ready, so have an amazing day. Hey guys, get ready for me to go to lunch with my grandma. So today, me, my mom, and my grandma are going out to lunch, but I have to finish two of my projects for school. We have four days of academics left because we don't have school tomorrow because of Memorial Day. So we literally only have four days left, and they're assigning us two projects. So me and my mom are going to go to this, like, coffee shop so I could get all my work done. Anyway, let me tell you guys about what happened last night. Literally, like, 500 people came over to my house. And, like, literally all my cousins came over. It was crazy. And my whole vanity was so messy because we were doing, like, everyone's makeup. But it was fun. So, me and my friend went to Laguna to eat, like, brunch or whatever. And then let me show you what we got. So, we got this, like, love necklace. And then we went to this bead store and we made our own bracelet. There's this charm and then an Eiffel Tower and then a star. It's so cute. So, basically, at that store, you just, like, pick out your chain and then your charms. And then you pay for the price of all of those and you make them. Oh, my God. Let me tell you guys about what happened in Matt. So this happened on Thursday, so basically there was like my two friends that they were like messing around and then um, my teacher was like, oh, you guys have to like stop or else you're getting sent out and then they said something and then they were both got sent out and then he's like, Mika, you're next and then I said something and he's like, that's it, out. So he literally sends all of us out in the hallway, so us three are just sitting in the hall and then we just start talking to each other and he's like, no, you guys cannot be talking to each other so he assigns us like corners of the hallway so one of my friends went that way and then the guy went that way and I was just in the middle and guess what? I thought I was going to be there for like 10 minutes. No, I was there the whole class period. And literally all the kids in the class like almost were done with their homework because he gave them time to work on their homework. So yeah, it was so bad though because my Spanish teacher saw us sitting outside and I've got sent out by her like 50 times. She was pretty disappointed. 
Also, my cousin did my hair last night, so I kind of want to keep it for today, even though it looks really messy right now, but I don't really care. Literally, all the teachers hate me and my friends. They literally made a rumor about it, which was like that we like threw watermelon at this girl who we literally went up to her and she's like, I never felt anything and I never saw the watermelon. Or she's like, I saw the watermelon on the ground and we're like, exactly. Because that was the day that we got sent to the principal for catapulting watermelon. So yeah, we literally have the worst reputation ever. And it's for the most stupidest stuff too. Oh my god, last night, my blush literally broke in my makeup. So now everything is covered in my kimchi blush. <sighs> literally cannot believe that I have to do two projects. It's gonna take me like five hours, I'm not even joking. Also, my dad has been like so strict on me recently for like literally no reason. And he's not even strict on my brother, but it's only me and I don't even get it. Like, I don't even get it. Also, the other day, I literally was so hungry and I made two tiny little things of craft mac and cheese. Like the microwavable ones, they're so good. It literally revived me. I, like, just learned how to use bronzer and I don't even think I'm doing it. I want to, like, say a bunch of stuff on here, but, like, I kind of can't because someone will find me. My whole For You page is edits of Michaela. I'm literally so mad about it. This man has- Okay, bye. It is finally Friday, so get ready with me for school. I am so happy it's Friday. I really hope that this is one of the weekends that goes by really slow. And I don't have any tests today, so it should be a relaxing Friday. So we will see if that's true or not once we get there. I woke up early today, but I stayed in bed for another like 30 minutes. So I'm not running late. I just don't have as much time as I was thinking I was going to have. So this new pimple is literally freaking me out. Like, why is it there? I haven't used anything new or like I haven't been eating a lot of chocolate so I don't know why my face is just deciding to break out. I think one of the stupidest insults that someone can say to you is oh you're ugly because of your acne like oh my god look at all those pimples. Basically if I didn't have a few dots on my face I would be like gorgeous. I don't know how to explain it but I just hate it when someone uses acne as like as, like an insult because it's literally just a few pimples like I don't know, but guys these days are just like really weird and make no sense. Also, I'm finally getting my nails redone after school today. Except I literally have no clue what I want, so we'll just see what I pick out once I get there. I haven't used this NYX brow glue in so long and it made me realize how much I miss it. It is a really good product, except both of mine are literally dry, so that's why I don't really use it anymore. And the new glue I got from that like brand that I have no clue how to pronounce is really good so that's why i haven't been using the nyx ones as much i want to spot conceal even though when i spot conceal it usually makes them look um even more noticeable i don't know if i am but we'll see if i want to honestly i'm not going to spot conceal because who gives a flippin flip about what my face looks like i'm obviously gonna put my hair up today so i kind of need to speed this up have y'all seen those like jelly blushes or jelly blush tints that milk just came out with I swear, they literally look so edible. Like, if I get them, I'm, like, I'm scared that my intrusive thoughts are gonna win. Totally kidding, because that would be, like, really weird. Anyways, time for lashes, so I'll be right back. Lashes are totally booty, but it's totally fine. It's definitely not gonna piss me off for the rest of the day as they uh, progressively get worse. And now I'm gonna go set with my basically empty setting powder. I swear, I need to get a new powder because I absolutely love this one. It's the one from e.l.f. and it's really good. And for the price especially, like, it was not expensive at all. Okay, after I let it sit for a minute or two, I just kind of brush it off. Okay, makeup is all done. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. This is the one and only time I've ever met a celebrity, so I'm going to tell you the story while I get ready. This only happened last month. I was in L.A. and New York last month for about a week and a half. I went the whole trip without seeing a single famous person let alone meeting one, which is fine. Like, I didn't go to America just to see, like, celebrities, you know. But it actually didn't happen until I had flown home to Sydney. That I did see a celebrity. I was getting off my flight, so i just flown, like, 14 hours from LA to Sydney, and I was in the business area, so I was, like, upstairs on the plane. I was getting off the plane, and I was with my mum, so keep that in mind. To my left, and there's someone, like, standing in the bridge, like, when you get off the flight, which you don't really, like, meant to stand there, and I don't think you should, like, I don't know, it's kind of annoying, like, just keep walking and, like, stand once you get off the bridge. There's someone standing to the bridge, and I was like, why is he standing in the bridge? And I look at him, and I go, hmm, that, that man looks very, very familiar. I did a little double take, I was like, nah, nah, surely not, no one's Sydney. And I, like, instantly text one of my best friends, who is really good with celebrities, and, like, she's all over, like, who's where, and, and like, who's doing what sort of thing, like, she's, she's very covered in pop culture. And I say, hmm. 99% sure I just saw this person. I'm not gonna tell you who it is till the end. And they were like, oh, maybe like 
they haven't posted anything but like I don't know and I said if I see them again I'll take a photo but like if it is the person I'm thinking of they're not going to be walking around the airport they're going to be getting like privately escorted out through the first like lot of security checks and we get to the baggage carousel I'm and I are standing there the bag is taking longer than usual to come out I was like I fucking hate it when people come and stand in front of you. Well, having that conversation, you know, like the one when you're at the airport and like someone stands in front of you or people are like literally breathing on the carousel waiting for their bag, like hovering over it. As we are having this conversation, a young man swoops in front of me, sliding in, sitting on his suitcase. He just slides in on his suitcase. And I go, what the fuck? You're in front of me. I can't see my bag. But I kept my cool. I didn't say anything. I just did the obvious, like the little like move. I'm trying to find my bag. And I go, hang on a second. That's the guy that was standing on the bridge. Mum, that is a famous person. This was so smart of me. Like, give myself a pat on the back. I noticed that he was, like, obviously sitting on a luggage bag. I was like, oh, my God, I'm just going to, like, read his tag before I say something in case it's not him. Yep, that's him. His name right right there on the tag. And I was like, <laughs> how do I go about this? I'm fangirling to mum. I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh, my God, mum. Childhood right there. Like, that's my childhood. <laughs> she has no clue who this man is, nor does she give a single fuck. It's like, fuck. Like, contemplating, do I ask for a photo? Like, am I going to be that girl at this time of the morning after that long flight? Like, he is certainly as tired as I am. They came and stood in front of me. The universe put them in front of me. Out of the whole airport, they're in front of me. And I was like, that's a sign. I don't know what the sign's for, but I'm going to say hi. It went up to them. Obviously, they were waiting. Like, I didn't disrupt them. And I was like, hello. <laughs> Are you? Mm. And they were like, yeah, I am. And I was like, oh, do you mind if I get a little pic? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, no worries. I was like, perfect. He put his hand on my waist. Oh, okay, sir. I look disgusting, so I'm not going to show the photos. I have posted on here before if you want to find them. While this man's hand was on my waist, I said, childhood maid. What the fuck? He didn't even respond. <laughs> and by this point, we both had our bags. And I was like to mom, like, let's not follow them out. Like, let's not crowd them at security so we like waited a couple seconds for them to go and then we went in the line turns out we we're fucking behind them anyway also didn't realize the person he was traveling with is actually his brother who's also famous but i was like so tired i was not paying attention i just saw and i was like oh. they got a little private escort and left the airport and i went and got picked up by my dad <laughs> that is my story of how i met ross lynch ah uh, okay get ready for me to go study for like five fucking hours because i have a test i have an exam on tuesday and um <laughs> I am scared. I've been having such a problem. My eyelids have been so dry. Like, they were dry before I went to Fort Lauderdale, and I really thought that um, it was because of, like, the cold weather. And then they got better, so I was like, oh, okay. And then I went to Fort Lauderdale, and I think I fucking burned them in the sun, and now they hurt even more. So I have to put, like, Aquaphor on them constantly. And, like, they just hurt so bad. Look, like, you can see how red they are. Ow! Like, even just that lotion on them is, like, burning right now. Like, it hurts so bad. Why? What is wrong with them? Somebody please let me know. Because it hurts. Ow! Like, it's, like, burning right now. I, like, physically can't study in my dorm room. Like, I need to go take my backpack and for and like walk somewhere on campus and force myself to sit there for like three hours or else i'm not gonna get anything done because if i'm here i'll just like sit on my phone the whole time and like like that's how i've always been like i can never do homework like in my house or like in my, oh i can do it at my house but like in my room at my house i have to i like have to be at like a, some sort of desk that like doesn't have all my shit on it where i can't just be like oh maybe i should do a face mask right now like i just get so distracted so easily but um yeah, so I need to, like, force myself to, like, not be anywhere where I can stop. Do you hear that? I'm putting Aquaphor on my eyelids because I just, I just can't. They hurt so bad. I don't even want to put makeup on them because they hurt so badly. I don't know why. I don't really, like, feel dry skin on them, but, like, they just burn. Oh, like, is that an issue? Should I be concerned? Because why do they hurt so bad? Abby thought it was eczema, and I was like, honestly, it might be, but, like, ah! Um, I really just needed to do concealer, and I think I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Maybe I'll put a little bit of mascara on. I need to see if Michigan State won our game, because I didn't watch it. I watched, like, the first half, but, um, I hope we won. Okay, good, I just checked, and we won, so. Round three, baby! I'm putting on a very light helping of mascara. I also put the rest of the Aquaphor that was on my fingers on my lips, so that's why they look shiny. Um, 
But yeah, I have class at 12.40 tomorrow. Not excited. But at least it's Monday and I only have one class, so that's good. But yeah, that's about it for now. I might put polish on so I don't look deadly, but I think I look okay, so. Peace and love. I just woke up and I have work, but I just had the most comfy sleep in all of Alex's clothes. I want to get out of them, but we have work, so let's go get ready. I don't know how I went on my hair today because it's so greasy, but we're going in Alex's pool today, so I don't want to wash it. It's been such a long week and I'm so happy that it is finally the weekend. I'm having a few little breakouts, oh, not really breakouts, but my chin is breaking out. I don't know if you can tell and then I just have one pimple up there. Saturday mornings in the gym are always so chaotic, like it gets so busy, it stresses me out. But I've worked quite a lot this week because I worked every day after school this week except for yesterday. Friday was my only day off, so I went to Alex's house. I fell asleep at 8.30 last night. I slept out on the couch under the aircon because it was so hot, but I crashed. Like, I literally, I just crashed. I was so tired, I didn't even drive home from Alex's, but I'm driving home, no, driving to work today and driving to his. I'm still only on like 10 hours, but I'm comfortable driving now. I've got on the freeway. I've gone on like all the major like highways and stuff, so I'm comfortable driving. So now getting my hours up will be easy. I really want to put gel on my eyebrows today, so I'm just gonna brush them out with this. My shorts of the day are from Kakeva. But anyway, I'm already for coaching, so I hope you have an amazing day. Get ready with me. I'm going out to like a surprise lunch for my friend right now. It's like supposed to be a surprise, but I think she already knows about it, but it's fine. Tonight's the Super Bowl and I literally don't have like any plans. And I'm also pretty sure that like my entire grade is hanging out at someone's house tonight. And I'm like not 100% sure because I wasn't invited anyways, so I don't even know if it's happening or like where it's at. Well, I guess I'll just find out later when everyone's posting on their stories later. And also I know that plans were like formulating or whatever because at lunch on Friday, they were all talking about like, oh, like whose house should we go to for the Super Bowl? But you know what? It's fine. I didn't want to really hang out with fake people tonight anyways. Maybe I'll just have, like, my two friends over or something later. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really care who wins the Super Bowl because I honestly don't care about either of the teams. I feel like I'd rather the 49ers win over, like, the Chiefs, though. Even though I, like, don't want them to, I'm pretty sure the Chiefs are just going to win anyways. Anyways, I'm really excited to go out to lunch because I just love, like, eating good food. And, like, the food last night was so good, too. Like, the penny vodka was literally amazing. Like, it was great. Oh, my gosh. This stuff is literally the best. I tried to, like, blow up my hair. I can't tell if it, like, looks good or not. Okay, this is the whole outfit. It's just, like, this top with these blue ripped jeans. Bye, guys. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am in not the best mood, so what are we going to do? We're going to do my makeup. I'm really gonna need every single wait hold up i'm gonna need every single one of you to not focus on the hairdo that's going on right now i'm trying the blowout roller thing i haven't done it since like october okay i really have nothing to talk about so instead i'm gonna tell you every product i use i just put up but i just put on the charlotte tilbury magic cream and i'm gonna mix it with of course the drunk elephant schnitz I was going to say a bad word, but then decided that I didn't want to. I'm also putting this on my neck because my neck just doesn't tan and neither does my face. But my body does. <laughs> just going to rub that in. I am not putting sunscreen on because I'm going to church and then coming home and then going back to bed. This is the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Happy Soul. Just not. This is. Mm. It's really hard to blend this out. With these things in my hair. I really hope that this turns out good because if it doesn't, I literally don't have time to do anything about it. We're using the Rare Beauty blush today. I haven't used this in so long. This is in the shade Bliss. Shart? No! Did you see how hard I tried to focus to just not say that? Tarte Shape Tape. Radiant. Not my color. 
everyone's commenting and telling me, you know, Tilly, I love your talking get ready with me's. What do you want me to talk about? Like, yeah, sure, whatever. But, like, I don't have anything to say. Should I start giving you all, like, advice or something? Okay, this stuff for highlighter is kind of slay. The Vaseline stick and cocoa shimmer whatever. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, you know what I can talk about? Speak now, Taylor's version. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Just, it's, I, yeah. Say what you want about Taylor Swift, but she is an absolute genius for re-recording her music. I can see you waiting down to help me. I'm putting some blush on, even though I'm already sunburnt. I went boating yesterday, and I got absolutely fried. Like, I'm a little, little fried chicken nugget. I'm now realizing that I have a list in my notes of all these questions that you guys asked me that I was going to film a get ready with me and, like, answer. I should have done that today. Oh, well. Just got to keep, keep some more, I guess. This video has really just been absolute pure nonsense. I also ripped off all my nails and I miss them. Why do my eyes look like different shapes? Do they not? I feel like they do. Forgot to tell you all the products I've been using. <laughs> Apes. Okay, I'm done. Get ready with me. Guys, I don't know why, but I feel so cute today. <laughs> Key, not an amazing start to my saturday because my plans got cancelled but it's fine i'm still gonna go out they haven't really been cancelled just kind of delayed i was supposed to go out at six but now i'm gonna go out at like 8 30 ish it's 5 30 right now i don't know why i'm getting ready so early but i just i want to start my day tried zen yesterday the hot chocolate and it was so good guys like it was actually amazing while I was at Concrete, there was like a bunch of other pop-up stores or like businesses that were there. And one of the businesses there was this like little create your own flower bouquet thing. It was run by a couple of local girls that come from Al Ain. And they were so sweet. We literally sat down for like an hour talking to them. I'm gonna tag them in the caption. Make sure you go follow and check it out. They're gonna be there today and tomorrow. To those of you guys who know me, you know I hate sun. Like, my curtains are always closed and I will refuse to go out anytime before 6 just because I don't like when the sun is out. I don't know why, it's just always been like that. I don't know if anyone's going to relate to me on this because I'm pretty sure, like, most of you guys probably have strict parents. But as a girl who has not that strict parents, it's so hard for me to find friends without strict parents. They always either have curfew or, like, can't go far places. But most of the time it's fine because literally all of my friends' parents love me. I'm so good with parents. For the first time in like a year, I didn't mess up my eyeliner that bad. Guys, I just jinxed it. I gave myself evil eye. Okay, whatever. It's fine. My false lash is gonna cover it anyway, so that's a plus. My mom ordered me this like uh, mascara, so I'm gonna try it out. And she swears it's like the best thing ever, so we'll see about that. It's from a brand called Glam Color. Brush is super thin. It looks kind of cute. Guys, low key, this is not bad for someone who has no lashes whatsoever. That made such a big difference. I'm still gonna put on fake lashes though. <laughs> That's why I love lashes so much. You can't even tell that I messed up on my eyeliner. Anyways, guys, I'm done. So bye. Hey guys. Oh fuck. Welcome back, Mira Moose fans. And today we're gonna be doing a uh, Getty Get Get Ready. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a get ready with me for the Super Bowl event. For Elf? For Elf? No. Okay, <laughs> so right now, just, you know, making a foundation and then putting the bronzer on. And then. Is this the blush? Oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> my bad, that was contour. But, anyways, shout out to Charberry Timber. <laughs> uh, Charlotte Tilbury. If you're a makeup brand and you're not sending my sister free shit, there's something wrong with you, bro. So go in the <laughs> so bio what? and then send it, bro. Like, okay, so right now I'm just putting on the eyeline or the con <laughs> no, like I'm putting. Alright, so I'm putting on the Huda Beauty Eye Corrector and I'm dapping up my face. And now we got the now we got concealer, and you know, um. Just put it, you know, under your nose, on your, under your lip, 
on your cheek and under your eyes. And then you brush it in with the, you know, with the beauty blending brush. And then, you know, just brush it in. And yeah, bro, look, it's starting to look proper. And then you spray it in, you know, lock it in place. Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. You know, it's crazy how I'm only doing this for the halftime show just to see Usher. Because I don't even like football like that. But okay, so now we're using the Patrick Star powder so that it's not that shiny on your forehead. You know, because we don't like the shine. And then, you know, we got the, um, we got the hue to beauty again. You know, just keep brushing, brushing, brush, you know. And then, bro, everything's starting to look, you know, come together and look proper. Is this better than the last one? Bro. <laughs> bro. The, bro. We're not going to speak on the last one. But yeah, you know, we're just keep brushing, brushing, brushing. Right now we got the, um, right now we got the eyeshadow. And then, you know, just brush it. And now we got the fake eyelashes. You know, take off the old ones, put on the new ones, and then boom, you know, you know, put on the highlighter right now, you know, you need that glow. And then basically we start the lips, you know, we're using the, um, the color pop and then boom, look at that, you know, subscribe to me to moose. Don't unfollow this time. I got one comment to do a talking, get ready with me. So that's what we're doing. I have a lot of work to do and I can't do it at home because I physically can't. So we're going to a coffee shop to do our work. Also, the curls did not turn out cute today. Let's not talk about it. Step one. Char Oops. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Slay. And duh. I've tried so many dupes of this and just like nothing is the same. Oh. I don't even know what people like really talk about in these videos. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. And any fun comments I have while doing it. Should I use my headband? Get ready with me to run my ex over with a car. That was a joke sunscreen my question is, is how people how do how what wait how do people do this in three minutes it takes me like five million years to do my makeup so here in utah the weather has been so crappy and it makes me so upset where's he going anyway it just makes me mad stop doing that oh my gosh this blush is so good like it's just the perfect summer shade <gasps> that looks a little crazy actually okay i fixed it a little bit consulo eyebrows this is Benefit's Brow Wax. I got the mini size just because I wanted to try it. So we'll see. Okay. Mm, yes. I get so many questions about this. This is the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. It is the best for filling in your eyebrow. And I use shade light medium. It just looks so good. Okay, I'm going to blend out this concealer now. You guys, my friend is texting me some tea right now. I'm so excited. I'm listening to like three artists on repeat recently. It's been Frank Ocean, Lana Del Rey, and Taylor Swift. But I'm always listening to Taylor Swift, so that's not a big surprise. I am so tempted to buy a ticket to one of her international shows. Like, that would be so fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do it? Also, this cute little palette from Benefit is my favorite. It's our new bronzer and blush duo, and I got it in Hula Desert Retreat. It's just just the perfect it's so it's just it's it's good i never really think that i wear a lot of makeup but then i like film one of my get ready with me's and i'm like it's a lot of steps you got there girl okay if you aren't putting aquaphor on your lashes what are you doing like it's just so good every time i get so many questions about my lip combo so i'm gonna tell you Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And I like change up what I wear like actually on my lips like every day. But today I'm going to wear the Fenty Beauty Heat in the color Fussy Heat. So good, but burns like crazy. Maybelline Sky High Mascara in the color True Brown. I think one of my biggest makeup tips for anyone with like lighter hair and lighter eyes is use brown mascara. Don't hate on it until you try it. Urban Decay All Nighter. Hope that was entertaining. Mwah. Get I'm ready with me. Today I tried out this new shampoo I got like for my damaged like bleached hair. You guys told me to get layers and like curtain bangs but I'm definitely not getting curtain bangs. Like, but I definitely want to get layers. I just need to book an appointment. I also really need to get my nails redone because I, I just feel so bare without them. On the first weekend of February I'll get my nails done so I can have like heart nails for the rest of February. Cause like I want like 
pink valentine's day nails or like red nails actually i want like pink heart ones or like the cat oh or like the viral like cat eye heart like the ones with glitter but i'm not sure yet so i have a lot of time to figure it out but i really do want to get my nails done again i also have some pr packages on my way i also really need to start like a link tree so you guys can like find all the stuff that i'm using or like the stuff that i do hauls of anyways yesterday i popped a pimple i'm like really bored and i'm so hungry right now so right after this i'm gonna go make myself some food because i'm so hungry okay that's it bye guys get rid of me while i tell you why school is so important okay so the first reason oh wait hold on i want y'all to really hear what i gotta say Anyways, those were the reasons why school is so important. I got engaged at 18, married at 19. These are just a few reasons why I don't believe in waiting. I know that this is such a cliche saying, but when you know, you know. The most beautiful things about that being when you're young is that you're pretty much starting from the bottom. Like you're literally getting to grow up together. But you're actually doing so in the same direction with the same goal in mind. Versus growing up, then getting married, when you've already created a life and habits that are gonna be way harder to fit somebody else into. I feel like there's a lot of excuses of wanting to be like out of school or financially stable, whatever it is, which not only are those things a million times better to go through with your spouse, also the more challenges that you go through together, the more it strengthens and adds so much to your marriage. You shape each other and I truly could not be more grateful to get to be with him all the time because he makes me a better person every single day. Last one we'll get into because I think the most common thing that's heard when you get married young is that you're missing out on life. Marriage is literally the start of your adventure of life. Plus, whatever life things they're talking about, it's not like there's anybody else in the whole world you'd rather experience them with anyways. And I was supposed to be doing my eyebrows. I'm sure you can totally do all those same things while you're dating. You have to admit that marriage definitely puts a greater value on time that dating just doesn't. But with that all being said, don't forget that everything happens in perfect timing. Get ready with me to spend the day in Vegas with a newborn who I am exclusively breastfeeding. We just came down here for the weekend, but I forgot to pack the literal most important thing, and that is contact lenses. If you are someone who wears contacts and you like literally can't see without them, you know how bad that is. And I didn't bring glasses. So I literally just am wearing the contacts that I came in yesterday right now and my eyes are killing me. And last night, I washed my face with the Airbnb's dollar store hand soap because I'm a dumb bitch and I forgot my face wash. Now you might be wondering, what does a girl like you do in Vegas, Kylan? Well, you see, I don't drink, I don't gamble, I don't buy anything in Vegas because I'm not about to spend $5,000 on a purse. And we have a seven week old. So what do we do? We walk around and get blisters on our feet, but I love it. Are there any other wives out there that literally don't have any friends besides your husband's friends? <laughs> I am in a house full of just boys right now, just me. So it literally always is when we hang out. So if you're looking for a man and you wanna be friends with me, let me know, I'll set you up with one of them. Suede probably slept his biggest stretch yesterday, which was like, four and a half five hours which is weird because we're out of town i think it was maybe because the bassinet that we brought is a lot more comfortable than the one he normally sleeps at at home i was so excited to start dressing cute like after pregnancy when i was a mom but to my disappointment i literally can't because i slept to breastfeed so like can't wear tight clothes because i have to pull them up all the damn time 
and my boobs are so huge and i hate them but yeah i have literally no idea what i'm gonna wear so maybe i'll make like a get dressed with me video or something i scrubbed off all my stuff tanner last night and so this is my face compared to my body so i'm just like blending it down there when i am not lathered in self tanner i feel like a literal rodent this stuff that i use for my eyebrows is actually my husband's hair stuff and we get in fights every single day because i leave this in random places and he can never find it so i also forgot a hairbrush so this is what we're doing 